Okay, everyone, as part of the Visual Mapping Review Series 2014 with your makingme.com, we are looking at Coggle. Hey, everyone, Kevin here. Uh, let's look at Coggle right now. Let's get into some of the features. Let's talk about what is actually going on here. Now, you can see it's just really, it's a web-based tool. You can use it in, in your browser and it links up with Google. So you can go in there, you can enter everything in using your Google account. You can see my little thing right there. And that's a kind of a neat thing. So it's free. The basic version is free. I think they asked for about five pounds, which will give you a year. You're not asked to pay that, but if you do, you'll get some new advanced features before everyone else in the free version. So pretty, you know, the price is right, obviously at free. You can't complain about that. Collaboration. Now, because it's linked up with Google, you have access to your Google contacts. So you can just go ahead and you can search your Google contacts and add people. That's pretty cool. Or you can use the standard email them and then have them in for collaboration. So that's okay. It works fairly well for that. You can import and export to FreeMind. So if you've got something you've already been working on, most other programs will let you export to FreeMind. That's kind of a universal format. So you can import it here or vice versa. You can actually export it out of Coggle. Something else that I found interesting that's not common on web-based applications, and they call it branch to Coggle. What branch to Coggle means, and I can go in here, and really you've got to just right click on this, and there'll be a little thing that says branch to Coggle. What it allows you to do is take wherever you are, so you probably, probably take something a little bit higher up. If I had a larger map, going on a gigantic map, what this does, branch to Coggle, lets you take this, and wherever you are from here, so we'll say from features down, and create a new Coggle, create a new map with that as the key. That means it's still linked up to this map, but it goes into its own map, and that way it tries to reduce some of the clutter. Okay, let's talk about a few things that I like about Coggle right now. I'll give you a couple ideas right off the top of my head. One is that I like the ability to just to freehand line shapes. A lot of times you have a little bit of control over the lines. This is just kind of neat here. I'll give you an example. I'm going to grab this line. You can just see I can snake it back. Most times you can't, they, most of the programs won't let you snake it back on itself, but this one does that. You can kind of go up here and you know make a little goose neck, whatever you want to call it. So you've got some options as far as grabbing the lines. I know I found on my laptop that sometimes I was missing the line, I'd start moving the document. But as long as you're able to grab it right from the beginning, you're, you're set to be able to move this thing around and drag and drop it. So there's some neat functionality as far as making it look okay like that. Uh, another thing I like is that there's a neat kind of feature. When you hit the control button, you can see when there's a plus sign, that means I can add a new node. So I'll just give you an example. I'll, I'll add a new node. I'll put in here, new node. Excellent. Now. If I want to delete that, all I need to do is hover over it, and if I want, I'll press Control, now watch that little plus sign, it'll spin to an X. Now I know I can delete that. I'm still holding the Control key, because if I let it go, it'll go back to the plus sign, spin it, X, I can delete things. So a neat way to delete whatever node you're working on. Something else that's nice, especially when you're collaborating, is having an easy ability to get to the timeline view. It's in the top right, so I'll go right up here, very top right corner, and I'll click on that, and it'll show me what I've done. I can go through it, I can just pick something, and I can say, okay, let's see, 14 minutes ago, and it shows me exactly where I'm at. So I can scroll through it, and you can see where I'm at, and you can see there's the very beginning of my Coggle map that I was making for you guys. And when you're done, or if you want, you can head back to the very current beginning, and you're all set. All right, so those are some of the things I like about Coggle. Now, let's talk about a few frustration points. I'm just gonna close off the timeline. There we go. Frustration points. I don't like this shift enter combo for a new node. When I'm entering nodes, when I'm entering information into a map, I just really want to be able to go enter the information, enter. You know, add some more information, enter, 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 and just be able to pound it in. What happens, I'll go in with this uh, grab here, let's add, add a new node, new node. And what I think I should be able to do is hit enter but that locks me out. Oh, now I'm stuck. So if I, if I want to do anything, I've got to go back into the node. Now I can hit shift enter and an other node. You get the idea. So that is not really the best thing for me as far as having to add that. I think it just it slows me down too much and I'm not a huge fan of that. Like I mentioned here as well, it feels like I'm stretching, just having to go shift and enter and not a big deal, but just when I'm in here and I'm trying to get ideas out, I'm brainstorming, speed is of the essence, and just, I feel like I have to do extra work. But for me, the biggest thing is when I just hit enter, I don't know if there's any way that I can keep going, entering in for more information 
without having to reach over and use my mouse. And it's my grab my mouse. I know I'm slowing down my productivity. So I wish I would have more keyboard control. Another frustration point is that you have to go way back to get to the plus sign. A lot of visual mapping tools, you'll go to the, the outer edge, you know, up over here to add a new note. This one I've got to add here. Though This one though doesn't add a new one in this line, which is almost what I would think it would do. It's gonna add a new one here, I'll show you. That one adds one over here. So now I've added a new note here and I've gotta just take that one and move it out if I want. So, but it added it there. If I wanna add a new note on this, in line with these ones, I have to go way back over here and it seems like I'm just going back too far for this. And I'm putting a new one here. For me, that boils down to a lot of the similar things where I don't want to have to be touching my mouse. I don't want to have to be touching anything except the keyboard. And this is making me do, I think, a bit more than I want to have to do. So there we go. Again, a little nitpicky might think, but for me, when I'm trying to get the ideas entered in, that's a big deal for me. Overall impressions though, you know, I think they're doing a really good job over here at Coggle. They're definitely trying to be different, mostly good, a little bit of frustration in some of the, the new things, right? Uh, the price is definitely right, it's free, so it's worthwhile checking out. I like the collaboration ability. I just want to have more control via keyboard and have less mouse. More keyboard, less mouse. Overall though, uh, yeah, people at Coggle doing a pretty good job here. I'm excited about this. Looking forward to seeing where they're taking this in the near future. Okay, so we'll leave it there now with Coggle. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and like it. That would be awesome. And also, don't forget to uh, to subscribe to this channel because I do a lot of visual mapping and a lot of productivity tips and tricks. I'm also going to suggest you head over to yourmakingme.com and check out the rest of the Visual Mapping Review Series 2014. Hey, guys, until next time, take care. We will talk soon.